Hi everybody, this is the first of many videos that I'm going to be showing you some problems in the practice workbook. Um, I did some of them and I want you to do the rest. Uh, one problem, 14, I just gave up. Um, you all know it was a long day today with the talent show. I'm trying to do this video before I go on vacation, so when we come back, we have the first one. I'll make them better in the future. Um, but uh, when I have time, I'll make them and I hope I can make uh, many. Um, here is the posture site. Um, you notice how I have these flashcards, which I want you to start making flashcards. I can turn it off to both sides, and I can say first term, and what's his color, and I click it, and ooh, it's green. And I can check, where is Mr. West from? Hmm, let me think. Oh, he's from Boston. So you can test, uh, quiz yourself, and try and learn the vocab using these internet flashcards. You don't have to cut up pieces of paper anymore. It can all be online. Um, other things here, we have the puzzle, did you solve this puzzle, and I'm about to post uh, the YouTube video on here and some other questions. So watch the video if you don't understand the math, and you can better understand geometry using posturus. All right, uh, take notes and uh, maybe just do the practice workbook as you go along. All right, have a nice day. Okay, everybody, we're working on our pr practice 6.1 here. Um, in the beginning of chapter 6. Well, we're just simplifying the ratio. So if we're going to simplify it, we know that 12 to 16 is the same thing as 12 over 16. And you just simplify the fraction and divide it by 4, which is going to be uh, 3 fourths. And we can call it dollars, the end. We can even bring it back to the final answer saying 3 to 4 dollars. Okay. Now, um, let's say if it's inches and feet, you want to turn the feet into inches. We know that in one foot equals 12 inches. So this is going to equal 10 inches over 24 inches, which then simplified, divide everything by 2, which is going to be 5 twelve or 5 inches over 12 inches. Okay, You could even put the 12 back to 1 because 1, 12 inches equals 1 foot, but that's okay. Alright, moving on down here. Find the ratio of the width and the length of the rectangle. Well, we know this is 4 to 12, or 12 to 4, up to you, but let's do 4 to 12 centimeters, centimeters. Okay, and we can simplify it and say that is the same thing as 1 to 3. Okay. Now this next one here is going to be number 10, AB over CF. So AB is 1, 2, 3, so we have that equals 3 over CF, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is the same thing as 1 half. You could say that that was 1 to 2. Okay. Next one, well this one you got to read and you got to draw a picture. So we have of a rectangle. We have some rectangle and the perimeter, I'll call it P equals 56. Well, perimeter is this plus this plus this plus this. And we know the ratio is 6 to 1. So I could put this as 6 to 1. But it's probably going to be different. It's probably going to be 6 here and a 1 here, yeah? makes more sense. So a 6 to 1. But that means that this plus this plus this this has to be 56. So I'm going to make an equation here. I'm going to say that there's going to be 1 and 1 here. So that's going to be sum 1 times sum x plus 1 times sum x plus 6 times sum x plus 6 times sum x is going to equal 56. That's this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. The x is the extended ratio. So then we have 2x. Well, what's, what's this? 2x and then there's 12, 14x. So 14x equals 56. And what's 56 divided by 4? I have no idea. You guys do it. And then x will equal, and then you put the x back in. You guys finish this. And the measures of this triangle's angles are 1 to 7 to 10. That means this is some kind of 1x plus 7x plus 10x. 
are you going to equal 1 8 so we have 1x plus 7x plus 10x equals oh we can't see it put it up like that equals 180 that's going to be 8 and 18x equals 180 and x equals 10 nice okay and you can do the rest for those over here we have cross multiplication problems um, you're going to cross multiply so I do 4 times 15 and 5 times x so that's going to be 60 equals 5x divide both sides by 5 and x equals 12 okay because I did 5 times x and 4 times 15 4 times 15 is 60 5 times x is here, x is 12. Down here, geometric mean, well, we know that x is going to equal square root of ab. There's 2 and 8, and that's the a and the b. So that's going to be the square root of 2 times 8, which equals the square root of 16, which equals 4. Okay? Down here is pretty easy. Just put in 6 for x, 3 for y. 2 times 6 plus 3 divided by 3 is going to equal 12 plus 3 is 15 divided by 3 which equals 5 okay finish the homework and I'll see you in class for the rest of the answers